affidavit of Christopher Slaytosh, State of Texas, County of Smith. On this day, Christopher Slaytosh, personally known to me to be the affiant herein, appeared before me and after being sworn according to law on his oath, deposed and said as follows. Number one, my name is Christopher Slaytosh and I live in Ector County, Texas. I am over the age of 18 years and competent to make this affidavit. I have personal knowledge of the facts stated in this affidavit and those facts are true and correct. Number two, I and my company, Silverfire LLC, are owners of Kamehakan, an anime convention. Number three, the agreement attached as Exhibit A was a binding contract between Silverfire and Victor Joseph Mignana, providing for his appearance at Kamehakan on April 12th through the 14th, 2019. This agreement was executed in July of 2018. Number four, the listed date for Kamehakan is incorrect in the agreement. It should have been April 12th through the 14th, 2019, but both parties understood. Number five, Monica Rial was also scheduled to appear at Kamehakan on April 12th through the 14th, 2019. Number 6. From February 2019 through April 11th, 2019, I had several conversations with Ronald Toye and Rial by telephone and numerous text message conversations with Toye. Exhibit B is a true and accurate copy of the text messages exchanged between us. Number 7. In these conversations, Toye repeatedly asserted that Vic was a sexual predator and that criminal charges would soon be filed against Vic. Toye urged me repeatedly to terminate Vic's appearance. I told him that this would breach the contract with Vic. He urged me to do it anyway, emphasizing that criminal charges would be filed before April 12th through the 14th, 2019. Number 8. In these conversations, Toye also encouraged me not to do business with Vic in the future. Number 9. I participated in a telephone conversation with Rial in which she repeatedly asserted that Vic was a sexual predator and that criminal charges would soon be filed against him. She also implied, and I inferred, that she would convince numerous other voice actors to cancel their appearances at Kamehakan. I heard Toye in the background talking to her and she periodically responded in agreement with him. Number 10. Termination of multiple appearances at the last minute would have severely threatened the profitability of Kamehakan. Number 11. Her threat turned out to be credible, since a number of the voice actors she claimed to have influence over ultimately did cancel their appearances. Number 12. Rial and Toye were aware that a contract had been executed between Silverfire and Vic because I informed both of them of the fact that they repeatedly urged me to have Silverfire breach the contract. Number 13. Toye also clearly implied that his company would withdraw a promised sponsorship worth approximately $25,000 if Silverfire did not breach its contract with Vic. The sponsorship ultimately did not materialize. Number 14. Silverfire did breach its contract with Vic by canceling his appearance. After being threatened with litigation from Vic's counsel and after long negotiations and legal expenses, Silverfire agreed that Vic could attend Kamehakan under numerous restrictions that were not part of the original agreement and that were not imposed on other guests, including Vic paying for additional security, not participating in panel discussions, signing in a different location from the other guests, etc. Number 15. As a result of this compromise, a number of the voice actors Rial mentioned canceled their appearances. Number 16. In summary, Rial and Toye individually and jointly told me that Vic was a sexual predator who would be criminally charged before Kamehakan, and they urged me to breach the contract with Vic. They threatened to lead a boycott of Kamehakan, and they threatened to withdraw significant sponsorship money that had been promised unless Silverfire breached its contract with Vic. Finally, they urged me never to do business with Vic in the future. Signed, Christopher Slaytosh, Affiant. Subscribed and sworn to before me, the undersigned notary public in and for the state of Texas on this 30th day of August, 2019 by Christopher Slaytosh, the affiant named above, to which witness and certify my signature and official seal, Tyrone Beard, Notary Public, State of Texas. You got me.